charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hell whacking it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribe machine for domains. Okay, I know I'm a Marvel and you're a DC, but can I please, please ride the Batmobile? Oh, sweet. Hey, what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch figure review on the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter vehicle along with the First Order TIE Fighter Pilot Elite from The Force Awakens movie. If you're sure I picked this up, you can't pre I'm now in Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to Mr. Phils for making this review possible, man. I really appreciate it. I am very, very excited for this. This is the largest six inch scale figure vehicle I have ever seen. This is just absolutely humongous. This thing stands at 21 inches tall. You're looking at about 25 inches across and then it's 12 inches deep. I mean for me to get into the shot over here you can see man this thing is just enormous. And you can see on the top right there we get the TIE Fighter. You can see the pilot on the side. You get a picture of the TIE Fighter Pilot Elite and then on the back over here you can see that there's a bunch of product images, a read up on the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. Then there's also a read up on the First Order TIE Fighter Pilot Elite. So you can pause those. And on the other side, we get the big red right over there with the zero one because this is the first vehicle that we're seeing from The Force Awakens. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the TIE Fighter out of the packaging. This thing is incredible. It is huge, man. This thing stands at 25 inches tall. It is just really, really big. It is pretty hefty too. It has some good weight to it. Uh, originally I wanted to hang this from the ceiling, but I don't know, it seems like it's going to be really tricky. It seems a little too heavy for that. Uh, now assembling this is very simple. It just comes in a few pieces. You just attach the panels over here to the sides, which are very easy, and then you have this antenna, and then you have the guns right here, and then you have the lid to the cockpit. I already have the pilot inside there. We'll take a look at him after we take a closer look at the TIE Fighter. Uh, coming around the side right over here, you can see the panel looks really good. There's all kinds of details throughout on this thing. I really love the paint on it. I like these translucent yellow windows that we get on the sides. So yeah, man, I'm very, very happy. This thing is large. So let's take a closer look, and then we'll take a closer look at the TIE Fighter Pilot Elite. Now there's a lot of paint detail on this thing, even on these panels over here. It looks like that's dust on there or something, but it's not. That's paint that's added to it. As we come around here to the center of the panel, you can see there's more paint right there. And I really like the sculpted detail on this. That just looks really, really good. Nicely done. And I believe these are all solar panels. If I remember correctly, these are actually solar panels over here. One thing that they've added to these panels too that I absolutely love are these tiny little strips of silver paint. I think that just adds a lot to it. Even though it's just a little minor detail, I just think it makes it pop a little bit more. And then as we move around right over here, you can see some more of the paint added right there. Again, a lot of details in this. Just looks really good through and through. I'm really liking it a lot. So we have these nicely sculpted antennas right here, which I thought were guns, you know? You can rotate that side to side, and it does have a screw right over here, which I tried loosening because I thought I could move this downward, but it's just not happening. So uh, I thought these were guns. They look a little bit more like guns than antennae to me. And then looking over here, you have this little turret thing right here at the bottom. This rotates side to side, so I really like that. And then you get these guns right over here. Then you can see the pilot right there inside. Nice translucent yellow plastic for this. Looks really good. I like the lid right here for the top of it. That came out looking really nice. Even has some clear windows at the very top. I really love that black shading over the red. I think that's what makes this elite, right? I don't know. I haven't read all the articles that have come out. You know, the movie hasn't been out yet, so I don't know for sure. But yeah, I think that's what makes it an elite TIE fighter, I guess. And then on the side over here, we get the same kind of, you know, little whitening over the black. So the paint on this is just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. And looking on the back right here, this looks really good too. I love how you can see the inside right over there. That is just awesome. That is badass. Wow. This is just really, really, really cool. And I don't want to forget the underside right there, so I want to get a good view of that. And then coming back to the top right here, I want to lift this up so you can see inside. So it is a little tricky getting the TIE Fighter Pilot Elite inside there. It's a bit tricky, but he can go in there. As you can see, uh, there's spots for two, so you can put two pilots in there. And I don't have anybody on the back. I love how you can see the control console in there. That is really good. The sculpt for that is just incredible. All kinds of nice detail. I like how even on that little red piece right there, you can see the little screen that he has. 
That is just really awesome. All these little control things for them to hold and everything is just really cool. I'm going to take this guy out of here. Now we're looking at the left side of the cockpit right there. And then now we're coming around to the front. And that is just spectacular. I absolutely love that. That just looks so good. Dang. I, I just All the details that they put into this. I'm just thoroughly impressed. I really like it a lot. And then for the sake of being thorough, here's the front right side of the cockpit. So yeah, you can see that there's a space right there for the legs. So I like how they did that. You get those deep little recesses right there for the legs. And then this clamp right here is for the waist. I also love that they went through the trouble of sculpting and painting all this cool detail right here towards the top of the cockpit also. And this lid opens and closes very nicely. It has a little bit of a latching to it. And you get this little tab right here so it's easy to lift up. Again, the red pieces on this just look fantastic with that black overspray on it. Now taking a look at the pilot itself, this is a very cool figure. I mean, it's kind of easy to forget about it because the TIE Fighter itself is just so gigantic and awesome, but this thing is awesome too. I really love the paint apps on it. Nice little silver bits right over there. The red stripes for the Elite Insignia look really good too. I like that little gray plastic that they use for the visors. That's pretty neat. And I guess it has like this shield or this eye piece that comes forward. I guess we'll see that in the movie, but this doesn't actually function. This just stays up. Look on the side right over here, you get the nice First Order logo. I believe that's the First Order logo. It looks like the Imperial logo a little bit. And on the back, I like how you can see the glossy black right there. And then you get a little bit less glossy right here. This is supposed to be the fabric part. Same thing right here, you get the seam and all the wrinkles right there. Nice glossy arms and gloves. Looks really, really dope. I love this console piece. Paint looks solid, really well sculpted. I can't say anything really bad about this. I like it a lot. There's a little gun, very nice gun. Nice silver paint apps on that, he holds it well. Then this has a trigger finger, the other side does not. Then the pants look really good here too. You know, nice wrinkles. He actually doesn't have any weapon storage, so I wish he did have a holster or something for that gun, for that blaster, but still, really good looking figure. I really like it a lot, you know. Not many complaints about this at all, and he still has the peg holes at the bottom of his feet. And for articulation, you can get him to look up quite a bit. I like that, and this is all flexible and everything, so that's really cool. You can move it downward. You get side to side movement over here too. A uh, tiny little bit of head pivot right there. The shoulders can move outward pretty far. You can get them moving forward. He does have an elbow bend. Again, I don't like that they've cut out the double jointed elbows with all these Black Series figures now, but there it goes, almost 90 degrees. Swivels right there. Then the wrist, it swivels side to side and moves up and down. Same thing with this side over here. He does have the diaphragm joint, turns side to side, moves forward forward only a little bit, back some, get a tiny bit of pivot in there, hips move outward that much, you can kick forward, move back some, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, angles move down, up, and he does have ankle pivot. Now the TIE Fighter Elite stands right at 6 inches tall, and then here he is standing next to an Imperial TIE Fighter pilot, we have the First Order Stormtrooper and the First Order Snowtrooper Officer. And then to measure this thing out again, this guy is standing just a little over 25 inches tall. Uh, you're looking at about 20 and a half inches deep over here, and then it's looking at about 20 inches wide. And it actually looks like this TIE Fighter is standing just a little bit taller than my San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Metroplex. Thank you so much, Sean Long. Then here it is next to the animated series 112 scale Batmobile. So it can't really see how big it is, but this Batmobile is actually just a little bit taller than the TIE Fighter. And then here's a TIE Fighter Pilot Elite standing alongside the TIE Fighter, and here it is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Man, so you can really get an idea of how huge this thing is. Here it is, me holding it. I am not a small dude. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", so this thing is absolutely monstrous, and it barely fits through the doorway. I have some stuff behind my door over here, but yeah. <laughs> So again, I really like this a lot. I highly recommend that you put a lot of thought into it before you decide pulling the trigger and getting this because it is very expensive. It may seem kind of steep for a lot of people, but it just really depends on how much of a fan you are of Star Wars to have it. Also, you have to plan for the space because it is very large. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shart in your face. If you want to contribute to the Patreon account and you're 18 years of age or older, check the link below. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to Jedi Inside insider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, posing action figures, posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Mohawk type.